Welcome back. We have a brand new episode of What's Your Mount Rushmore? And again, this is the podcast where we discuss the top four of our choices for anything and everything. And this is going to be an episode that certainly proves what we mean by anything and everything. <laughs> uh, I'm one of the hosts. I'm Mark Duvel. And I'm John Hansen. And uh, and yes, this this episode is one I've been put since we first came up with this idea. I've been begging Mark <sighs> to go along with this one and, and do this episode for me. Um, and here bastard. we are. He finally gave in. Uh, so uh, today, today's <laughs> episode, we're going to be listing out our Mount Rushmore of bald celebrities. <laughs> bald is beautiful. <laughs> this is your big day. This is your it big is. moment. I'm excited. If you, uh, if you shit your pants on this podcast, I God help us all. <laughs> I got, I got to, I got to do my my fellas proud. So uh, I'm, I'm excited for this one, and I'm sure you came up with some good, uh, some good ones as well. Hard There's not plenty to. Of them. So Mount Rushmore bald celebrities. I turn, I turn the spotlight to you, my bald friend. <laughs> my first, my first pick, my first baldy, right out of the gate, is is one of the most popular celebrities in the world uh uh the rock uh, i mean dwayne Ooh, the rock johnson so okay um, arguably maybe a top four or five wrestler of all time you could say popularity I'm wise sure um, he'd be even closer to the top than that maybe than maybe what closer i follow to that. arguably maybe a top five top 10 movie star in today's world as well, well. he's huge now um, he's, he's yeah. like this generation schwarzenegger kind of i mean he keeps doing action movies and he's built like a brick shit house yeah. And most importantly, <laughs> the man has no hair on the top of his head. Therefore, he's bald. bald. Therefore, he's on your Mount he's Rushmore. Bald. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and the, uh, and, and like, you know, some of the other guys that we're going to talk about, especially on my list anyway, there are times where we may have seen them with hair. But right now, as we're sitting here today, they are bald. The Rock had hair when he first started wrestling. No more. All gone. Didn't we all we all did bald. before we started we all, wrestling. We all had, we all, yeah, we all, that's true. Um, so, but yeah, I mean, I, I mean, and and you know, funny thing is about you talk about these celebrities. Some guys, um, some of these actors and people that are going to be on my list that had hair in their past probably looked a little bit better when they had hair. I think The Rock actually looks better bald. If you remember how he looked as a wrestler when he when he was first started out, he had he kept his oh, hair yeah, really like short, slick. It was it was Ford Fairline hair. It, yeah, he never had a, a mullet or anything. He never had long hair, but uh, but well, he's a uh, you know, it. yeah, he, he but he had yeah, but he had hair, and uh, and I think <laughs> his popularity. So if That's a fun pick, sword. though. I didn't. I'll be honest. I didn't see that coming out of you. The rock, right out of the gate. The rock, the well, one guy I'm of, not going to say anything to, and it's that's not a bald yeah. guy. I'm going to make Are fun you, of in person. Yeah, I was going to say. I mean, uh, if uh, you know, we we do have our bald meeting. So if you want to say anything bad about him, I'll let him know at the next one. <laughs> just so you know. <laughs> yeah, um, signed by John Doe. I, I see a rock by. Great pick, right. though. That's a fun one. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, so we're on the board with one with the rock. Uh, I'm going to switch gears a little bit, and I'm going to go a little more gentlemanly, dare I say. And I'm going to go with the great, great Sean Connery. Yes. Now, this, man, this, my friend, is a Welcome legend. Welcome to The Rock. Every, <laughs> Speaking see, of The Rock. Yeah. <laughs> wow, look at that segue. <laughs> but see, uh, real quick, before I... We don't. I mean, he he's got such an acting career. You can't you can't recap it. It's too big. It's it's. I mean, and obviously James Bond. Yeah, the first and James the Bond. Untouchables and Indiana Jones and uh, the Rock the, I, and the Rock. Um, <laughs> but real quick, I'm gonna do this. This is only for you and the listener. I'm gonna do an impression of Dana Carvey doing an impression of Sean Connery. As he's being asked if he liked being in the movie Finding Forrester. Sure. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. It's so bad. <laughs> we just we just you know sure. we just we just lost our one listener right there. Gone. <laughs> Boop. Bye bye. <laughs> it might have been worth it. <laughs> oh that's kids. All right, I'll give it to you. I there apologize. You while I can't it's a very argue, specific impression. It's a specific it's, one. It's and that's to specific. honor Dana Carvey and Sean Connery wrapped in one little bow. Well, and and they, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, both of them are honorable. You, my friend, are not. Um, but uh, well, I am not. I can't. But, but I can't argue. 
<laughs> Sean Connery. <laughs> yeah, Sean Connery. No, I we'll yeah, no, be, yeah, be be clear. You definitely are picking him. It wasn't just a bit. <laughs> no, not um, a bit at all. He he's no. on my Mount Rushmore. Who and and again, uh, a guy who who had hair as James Bond, but later in life yes. was a very popular bald distinguished just as good a role. gentleman. Actually, I think he's yeah. I don't know if he's English or Scottish. Anyway, but Scottish. the point is, he um and oh and the, they had fun, <laughs> the impressions they did on SNL Celebrity Jeopardy. I think remember those those uh those were pretty good. <laughs> Alex the, Trebek. And he had the full gray beard going. And, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, oh, yeah, that was a good one. I I like Sean Connery. How do you argue with that? Exactly. So no. <laughs> my apologies. Let's move on. Let's move on quickly. Um, <laughs> sure. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. 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 We're moving on. Moving on, sure. Um, my next pick is, uh, you know, my first pick was The Rock, <laughs> a big, strong, muscular guy, popular with the ladies. My next pick, not so good looking, not so big, not so strong, <laughs> but definitely bald, Larry David. <laughs> oh, um, dun, dun, uh, dun. <laughs> yes. Of, of, of uh, most recently Curb Your Enthusiasm, uh, but also co creator of Seinfeld. Uh, Larry, you know, Larry David is worth, I think, some in their neighborhood of like six or seven hundred million dollars. If you can, yeah, look that. at what he's done. Yeah, so I mean, Seinfeld he, money. He um, knocked it out of the park twice. He did. He with did. Seinfeld, um, and then obviously with Curb as as not only the creator, director, of the whole shebang, but the lead actor in it, playing himself. Yeah, yeah. What a great. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Again, I I knew I knew we were going to have Seinfeld uh, twists and turns and ties in this yeah. category um especially when my next pick i have to we're gonna because these two picks can feed off each other yeah. my next pick on my mount rushmore is a creation of larry david and that would be jason alexander is mainly the reason for it he's george costanza from seinfeld jason alexander yeah. and again yeah. For people who, in the, I feel like this is most people for crying out loud. George is getting upset. He doesn't love Seinfeld, one. Yeah. And then for people who have watched or really got into Curb, how do you not love that? So when you see the fact that Larry David created George Costanza based on him as Larry David, but George, Jason Alexander, got to play that role. Yeah, it's Seinfeld's show. But uh, how it's just, dude. He's one of those guys. He's gonna go down as one of the like top comedic minds of uh, of uh, generations of what yeah. he created. I mean, absolutely. So that's what's cool, Larry David. He he'd be my fifth spot because yeah. of Curb and yeah. Seinfeld. Um, yeah. But and, again, and then, we grew up in that must see TV era of NBC Thursday Night, and that only existed because of two shows. One of them, obviously, is Seinfeld. The other one's Friends. Jason well, Alexander yeah, represented well, the bald your community, your people. Yeah. With a with a great uh, you know, uh, sense of humor and a great and just great comedic timing. Yeah, I mean Jason Alexander is hilarious uh as an actor and uh, and I've seen him in other things too. He he'll never Shallow be known hell. for he'll, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Pretty woman he was in. Um That's right. But he uh, but he'll got, never he be known for up. he'll never be known for anything um quite like Seinfeld and and you're right and so when they were casting for that part they had to find a bald guy you know because you're as you said Larry David wrote they they created the George character as sort of a version of himself in real life kind of goofy weird neurotic very neurotic actually Larry and uh it's the and, backbone and, of it all yeah and if you and if anybody who's watched Seinfeld but hasn't watched Curb you have to make that transition because Curb is if you love Seinfeld you're gonna like Curb you just will it's that mind that he has so uh, and and the funny thing about being bald uh, on Curb, he makes reference to being bald all the time on the show. I mean, there's there's storylines. It's a lot, quite <laughs> yeah. frankly. There's full storylines about it. So it's uh, yeah. so yeah, Larry David and then uh, and then Jason Alexander handcuffed together on that because those are good picks, good picks back to back. I like those. And and one last little nugget on that: not only are they both based on you know they weave in as a character and a real person. They both are the same kind of bald, not yeah, the yeah, full, yeah. not the full bald, not not the, the rock old bald. school, yeah, the old school bald where <laughs> kind of still <laughs> the full, hanging on, <laughs> full head of hair everywhere else except yeah. nothing on the top. 
hanging onto the um, horseshoe right around the head. <laughs> and I will clarify for those if you want to put your Mount Rushmore together, this doesn't have to be completely bald. You know what we mean by bald. Yeah, it's yeah, either yeah. Larry David bald or The Rock bald. Yeah, it's, it, it they can all, go either they, way. They all fit for sure. Um, <laughs> so that was uh, so I've done two, and have you done two now? So we're back to me again, right? Uh, yeah, because we so, my my last one was uh, was Costanza George. Sorry, sorry, I get uh, I get confused because I'm so excited about these bald guys. So I just get to <laughs> it's, uh, yes, it's, it's been waiting ten to be ten pole. the highlight the <laughs> the highlight of my night. Uh, so, uh, right. my next, here's my next pick. And actually this is an interesting one because when, when I first say this guy's name, I don't think most people think of him as bald, but again, sort of like the rock, not bald early in his career, absolutely bald now. And that's John Travolta. I don't mean disrespect. Um, you know, most people <laughs> yeah. think of John Travolta as, uh, Greece, well, you know, and, and his, the eighties movies and, and, and even in the nineties, Pulp Fiction and, and some of the stuff he did always had a good head of hair. Um, but Especially he's pulp. Yeah, exactly. Probably in hindsight, now that we know what was going on, probably a, a wig. Um, <laughs> you know, I would say but, so. Because yeah. he is full on, full on shaved bald now. That, and here's the beauty of being a bald actor is it's easy to slap a wig on. You can play any part, you know, but if you have hair and you want to play a different part, you got to find a wig to cover up your hair. So that's why I and started shaving even... my head because I want to be an actor. Oh, okay. Yeah. And you look exactly like, exactly like John Travolta. I do. I do. Welcome back, Cotter. <laughs> as a bald young man, look at you. Yeah. You adorable sure. bastard. As soon as you said John Travolta, it's it's kind of freaky. You say John Travolta, then you talk about his, his a little bit of his bio, his movies, yeah. and then Pulp Fiction comes out of your mouth. There's my transition and seg segue into my next pick. It's his compadre in Pulp Fiction. It's Samuel L. Jackson. And Again, same dude. Clearly had hair early on in his career. I've always been a huge fan of him, whether he had hair or not. But now that he's officially in the bald category, he's yeah. on my Mount Rushmore as a bald actor. And yes. I remember truly being introduced to Samuel L., not a bald guy, but back in the one of my all-time favorite uh, comedies, he was in Coming to America. And that was his big day. One of his big debut spots. And he was the guy who robbed McDowell's. Yes. Uh, but with a full head of hair. But look and, at and what his, was his what was his funny line when he first sees uh, <laughs> Eddie Murphy? <laughs> do you remember the line? Uh, well, of course I do, but I feel like I swear enough. <laughs> <laughs> I could bleep you if you need us to. <laughs> no, because uh, he, he uh, Eddie Murphy approaches him. <laughs> Who the fuck is this asshole? <laughs> You know, in a gonna, movie, it's like a sawed-off shotgun. And he turns around, yeah. and that's what he says. And uh, oh. if you haven't seen coming the original Coming to America, not the sequel. If you haven't seen that in a while, watch, watch that robbery scene. If you don't yes. know that that's Samuel L., I'm sure most people have to. Yeah, but it was. That's the cool thing about any one of our picks so far. And I think Larry David's on his own island because he's truly he's a different thing, right? He created some of the best TV there is. Yeah, but look at the resume of these people that we're rattling off who are bald. So this should give you hope, my friend. Is I mean, that Sean Connery and Samuel L. and Travolta? Yeah, uh, and uh, Jason Alexander. Like <laughs> these are these are legit resumes of bald. The, people. Oh yeah, The Rock for crying out loud. And the Rock. He's one I of the mean, biggest yeah, no. story uh, guys uh, on planet Earth. Yeah, um, absolutely. So yeah, I, I have to follow your Travolta with the uh, with Jules. I but love it. I mean, he's done that. He's done Star Wars. He's yeah. Come on. Oh yeah. He's, yeah. This no, guy I mean, has done so many roles. And again, the, another Tarantino fixture is Samuel he is. L. He's oh, a yeah, damn yeah. genius. Yeah, I love that he is. guy. Yeah, and and you hardly ever see him in roles where he's has hair. I mean, you know what I mean. It would be a wig, obviously, but I don't think he even does that anymore. He just he just rolls with it. That's cool. <laughs> he does. He's just a good I, dude, I'm sure. He just has yeah. to be. So, all right. Well, we we got three on the board. What's your uh, What's your final? And then I'll wrap My this final. bad boy up. I have a feeling we got two two goodies still coming. Well, I mean, mine's probably my, my fourth one is probably not at the top of my list. I'd probably put a couple of the other guys ahead of this guy. However, he, going back to my childhood, I remember him on the show Taxi. Uh, Danny DeVito. <laughs> Danny. Uh, one of the one of the first. <laughs> 
you know, well, at least in, in my youth, one of the first times I saw a bald guy in a regular major TV show and in, in a major part, and he was hilarious on that show. He just played uh, uh, Louis, the little jerk, um, the boss. Show. He was a hard ass on all the all the all the his employees. But yeah, but I mean, and he's been in a million things. He's been in a bunch of movies. Um, and, you know, occasionally I ask, uh, watch uh, Always Sunny in Philadelphia, and he pops up on there, and he's hilarious on that show. Uh, and uh, um, yeah, no, he's a he's a hilarious guy, and another guy who pretty much has been bald the whole time I've known him. I, I don't remember ever seeing him when he was young and having hair. So I certainly yeah. remember. And and here's the the other thing for again people who have lost their hair. What another sign of hope? Look who his wife is for crying out loud. Look at the quality. You can score. Rhea Perlman? You went there. <laughs> you had to go there. Look Come what you bald guys can All look right. what you can snag when you go fishing. We just <laughs> We just lost the Danny DeVito and Rhea Perlman demo from our podcast. They just tuned out right there. Gone. Well, put them together. It's one person anyways. So fine. Yeah. Well, they are. They're both about four <laughs> feet tall. Um, that's true. But, Danny you know, DeVito. real Perlman. Yeah, maybe not the maybe not the, the best catch, but she was on Cheers, and you can't go wrong with Cheers. So um, We kind of grew up just knowing Danny DeVito. Yeah. And always. You did, you and did. he's one of the few on this list that's been bald from start to finish. Pretty much. Yeah. I think I mean, he was he bald just... when he was like 11. <laughs> he just looked like that pretty much the whole way. And he was probably the same height when he was 11, too. So, what um... if we found out Danny DeVito is really like 43? <laughs> <laughs> he's and like six. Young, what if he's, he's like six, six, six feet tall, you know, and <laughs> they, just, they just shoot him from the wrong angles? Well, Danny, Danny D is a great pick. Uh, and then. Speaking of okay, when you were when we were talking about the Rock, I'm going to finish with this pick because uh, I don't think this is an argument or a debate. I'm finishing with the Grand Slam Trophy winner of of bald celebrities. It's Michael Jordan. Yeah, how is it not? <laughs> and yeah. here, and I know we're, this isn't like a one of these corny debate shows per se, but come on, how, how would you debate that pick? It's Michael Jordan. Who's yeah. who's a bigger celebrity? on planet earth than michael jordan and if there is one they're not bald so there you go oh he's jason the number one bald right jason alexander's close second maybe right to, uh... <laughs> so if, <laughs> if aliens landed on planet earth and for some reason they're big experience they, they're really focused on the people who are bald and they ask the bald people where's the leader of your people and you mean what humans and they're like well, I think you're all human. We're ones that have no hair. Take us to you, that leader. <laughs> yeah, it's Michael Jordan, isn't it? Yeah. Who? Who? Else, he's he represents planet Earth as bald people. Exactly. He's the most successful guy, and happens to be bald, and he changed kind of the world, the sports world, the marketing world, and he's Michael Jordan, and he's he's our rep. He's your rep. He is. Yeah. He's, yeah. He is. He's my rep. He's more your rep. I'll, uh, I'll, 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 I, he he got he has my vote to represent us for when the aliens arrive. Well, you don't get a vote, but that's all right. I'll, I'll still take care of that. Um, well, no, and if there's a reason you keep seeing me with a hat, I'll be voting soon. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right, we'll get it's your coming, ballot ready. Um, so what? A, <laughs> I'm still. I'm. I'm not gonna. I don't mean to recall this. I so botched that stupid Sean Connery thing. I didn't even say the word I wanted to say. See, under the lights, you crack and you fold, and I just did. Uh oh, <laughs> my! It was such a specific impression, and I blew it. So my apologies. <laughs> uh, but you know what? You know what we don't have to apologize for though, <laughs> is when we're sitting here discussing the Mount Rushmore of bald celebrities. At least we're both classy enough that we didn't talk about Jada Pinkett Smith. Wow. <laughs> so I mean, nope. there. We, we should walk away. We did it. Yeah. We didn't have to debate, and, and neither one of us had her on the Mount Rushmore. We avoid we, the controversy. We kept her We're name. We're not going to get punched. We kept her name out of our mouths. <laughs> <laughs> so we're, we did. We're safe. Well, we uh, my, I did. I guess you Technically, did. <laughs> you did. But yeah, I'll just. Yeah, I'll, that's all right. I'll, I'll have my ring doorbell looking out for Big Willie style. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> it's coming. So uh, it was, I, again, it was, a, it was a good list, and there's a bunch of guys that we could have included. I thought of Robert Duvall. I mean, another guy that's been bald as long as I can remember him, going back to The Godfather. You know, yeah, I mean, Bruce Willis. Yeah, Bruce Willis. Uh, he, 
he's clearly in that in that uh, in that running. Yep. And you're right. There's a it's another uh, like huge list where I I don't think people we I just and I know you do this too. We pull these answers out of our heads. Yeah. I don't want to if it's it, if you have to Google your answer, it's probably not your Mount Rushmore answer. You should be no. able to pick out four that come to you. Yeah. And uh, these were really obvious ones to me just because just like they are to you. Um, but more so because this you've been, this is your day. You had a big moment and I hope you enjoyed it. And I want to very, very proud. And I want to encourage all the people who, who love their fellow, their fellow mankind without hair, be a part of this and give us your opinions. This is a, this is a great example of a specific topic. I don't think many shows are going to hear, you know, the primary focus of their podcast was discussing bald celebrities. So where did we miss? Who's on your Mount Rushmore? You know, yeah. go to Instagram, go to, you know, uh, Amazon Facebook. and, and yeah. Facebook. Uh, we're on YouTube. If you want to see, uh, well, if you want to be, if you want proof that John is really uh, bald, just watch us on YouTube. Um, and then you'll clearly see that I'm right behind him. I just keep buying hats that have hair attached to him. And I change out hats in between shows. <laughs> 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 so that's a little, little, we no, do little have a budget for much. makeup. Um, yeah, yeah, very. So little. again, thank you for um, listening obviously. to this. <laughs> thank you for listening to this uh, out of the ordinary episode. Uh, we'll see you next time. You got any last things to add? No, other than like you, you mentioned, it, just we want people to share with us, and and we're we're always looking for future uh, episode ideas too. So if there's something that you want us Absolutely. to uh, list out our our Mount Rushmore of, please let us know. There's nothing we won't at least consider. You know, food topics, movies, music, anything, TV. So specific, um, being yeah, specific. Help us out you and know. give us something that you want to hear, and and yeah, we'll give it a shot. We'll give you, we'll give it a shot. We'll give you a shout out when we do. Just like the speaking of shout outs, uh, I'm going to thank our sponsor of this episode, Fashion Bug. Yeah.